number one, that we are going to possess the door of the supernatural. Amen? I believe that if we're going to possess the door of hope, we've got to enter in to a supernatural mentality. I don't even have time to scratch the surface of all the supernatural things that take place in Scripture in a doorway. But I'm going to touch on just a few of them. First of all, in Genesis 18, when Abram and Sarah were old, it says Abram was in the door of his tent, the doorway of his tent, and the Lord came down and told him that he and his wife were going to have a baby. And you know what Sarah said? Sarah laughed. I would laugh. She was older than me. Matter of fact, I think when she had the baby, she was 89 years old. This is not a blessing I'm praying for. Yeah, his oldest bishop, that's right. And Abram was 99 years old. How many believe that from that doorway, God released something that was absolutely impossible, that God brought out of the realm of impossibility into the realm of possibility? How many have something that God has spoken to you that is absolutely impossible? Come on, if, if, you, if you don't have something God has said that's impossible, I want you to begin to believe God to speak impossible things to you because this is a season of not just God speaking impossible things, but doing impossible things. Come on, we sang it today. Don't you tell me he can't do it. Come on, we've seen our own daughter raised from the dead this year. Come on, don't you tell me he can't do it. We see that the Red Sea was a place of impossibility. Come on. They were running away from Pharaoh's armies. They came up against the Red Sea, which stretched as far as you could see one way and as far as you could see the other way. Pharaoh's armies were coming down on them. How many understand that in the natural, they did not have any example of a previous miracle where God split a sea? <laughs> They did not go, hey, God, remember where you did that before for those people? Could you do that again for us? No, 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 no. They did not even have in their imagination the fact that God could open up a sea. And I'm telling you, the kind of miracles that God's going to do this year are miracles of biblical proportion. They are miracles that maybe we've never even heard of, we've never even seen of before. I'm telling you that we're coming into a season of time where God is saying, when it looks like the way is blocked, when it looks like your enemy is pursuing you, when it looks like there is no way possible for you to move forward, God is going to make a way where there does not seem to be a way. And God is going to do miracles for you for your family, for your finances, for your health. God is going to do supernatural miracles. And God is saying to us, I believe in this season, exactly what he said to them then. He said, the enemies you see today, come on, the enemies you see today, you are never going to see again. The enemies you see today, you are never going to see it again. If you believe that for yourself, I want you to throw your hands up in the air. Father, we just decree this right now, God, that you are bringing a line of demarcation. God, when the Red Sea closed up, God, there was no going back, but there was also no going forward for the enemy. And, Lord, we decree that there, this year is going to be a year of, of delineation, of demarcation, God, that we can't go back to an old way, to our old life, but, God, neither can the enemy pursue us into our future, God. We decree that now in Jesus' name. We see that the Shunammites stood in the doorway. Do you remember this story? I love this story. I could preach every week from this story. 2 Kings chapter 4. The prophet was coming through town. On a regular basis. And he was such a blessing. The Shunammite came and said, I want to be a blessing to the prophet. So she built a room in her house for the prophet to stay. Listen, guys, there is a difference between just getting a prophetic word that blesses you. That comes and goes from your life. There's a difference between that mentality and a place where you build a room in your life for the voice of God. Come on, I don't want to just hear from God when a prophet comes into town. 
I want to I want to hear from God every day because the prophetic anointing rests upon my life and lives and dwells in me. Let me tell you this that this is a season that we must increase the size of our prophet's chamber. We've got to increase the size of that place that we go to hear the voice of God. So she built a room in her house so that the prophet could come and dwell there. And the prophet said to his servant, you know, she's done so much for us. What, what can I do to bless her? And so the servant went and talked to her. And she said, you know, you know we're well off. We're financially good. Um, we've got influence in our city. There's not, not really much that we need. So thank you, but there's not really much that we need. Listen, if God comes to you and says, I want to bless you, please don't say no thank you. I know y'all better than that, okay? But the servant said to Elisha, you know, she doesn't have a son. Now understand this. In that culture and society, women were valued by the children they produced. But this woman had gone through grief for so many years, disappointment, month after month, year after year, come on, that it was no longer even at the forefront of her wish list. What dreams have died in your life? Because it took a long time to see them come to pass. Can we think about maybe things that God promised you 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago? And can we pull them back up to the top of the wish list? Listen, Bishop Hammond received, a prof received prophetic fulfillment, received a fulfillment of prophecy that was spoken over him at his ordination. He received the fulfillment of that in his 50th year of ministry. How many of you are saying, yeah, I don't want to wait 50 years. But how many want to see every single promise that God has fulfilled, has promised you over your life come to pass? Let me tell you, you may have gone through the highs. You may have gone through lows. You may have gone through crooked seasons, crooked places. You may have gone through seasons where you wondered, can God even use me? You may have gone through seasons where you wonder, maybe I've nullified the promises of God. But how many understand the promises of God are yea and amen? Amen? And so... The, the prophet called the Shunammite woman. He said, go get the woman. And I want you to see what he said to her. He said, so he said, what then is to be done for her? And Gehazi answered, actually, she has no son, and her husband is old. Here's the problem. Her husband's old. So he said, call her. And when he had called her, she stood in the doorway. Everybody say, in the doorway. How many understand she was standing in the doorway of her miracle? She was standing in the doorway of the supernatural. And he said, about this time next year, you shall embrace a son. <laughs> and she went, thank you, prophet. I'm so excited about this prophetic word. No, no, no. You know what she said? She said, don't mess with me. I've already gotten used to my grief. I've already gotten used to my disappointment. I've already let go of the dream, prophet. Don't mess with me. Come on, how many things have we forfeited because we've given up hope? Just lift your hands up. Father, right now, God, I thank you that you're stirring hope again. God, hope that that prodigal will come home. Hope that family members will be saved. Hope, Father God, that no matter how many times they may have failed in some business uh, endeavors, God, that there is a new door of hope, Father God, that is bringing them in to the fulfillment of promise. God, hope, Father God, that there can be family restoration, marriage restoration, God, that there can be, Father God, they can come into a place of dynamic fulfillment, God, and they can embrace the promise the way that the Shunammite did. I want you just to just 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 pull that down from heaven and receive it right now. Amen.